The International Workers Day aims to highlight issues relating to welfare and working condition of employees. Here in the state, the May 1st ceremony was held at the Mamurubado Square with demonstration of government readiness to address workers' plight. This was the intent of Governor Muhammad Umaru Jibrila and his deputy alongside other top government functionaries in attendance. On the other hand, labor leaders in the state insist that the relationship between government and the organized labor is cordial. It's a superlative experience for us. It is a joyous moment for us that today labor was able to bring together the cream and the la cream, the governor and the deputy governor seated in a midday celebration under one roof. It's a day and, and, and it's, it's, a, it's, it's a collaboration, it's a synergy, government and labor together. I, we've never had it this way. Uh, we have a very good uh, relationship with, with Adamawa State government. It is a labor friendly government because if I begin to say labor friendly, possibly some people may misunderstood me to, to an extent, uh, thinking because we are owing some some problems, so we don't need to say we are labor friendly. Where where you you have access to 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 your governor to discuss issues, uh, it's labor friendly. Issues pertaining to casualization of staff and arbitrary employment were top of the agenda. I want to assure you that uh, we know the problems and we are tackling the problems. We are meeting the government to make sure that these problems are solved because they are very fundamental. Uh, they are the problems that are each worker. Casualization is not acceptable and uh, outstanding salaries. On the whole, the organized labor maintains that engaging the government through dialogue has proved productive and hopes for more. So it has shown that it's a good omen to the both workers and government. So I urge all people of Adama State to give this government the support and always advise the government on issues that regards workers so that together we we'll move ahead. Meanwhile, the Senior Staff Association of Statutory Corporation and Government-Owned Companies, SASGOC Waterboard Chapter, presented some items and equipments to its staff at the four water treatment plants in Mubi, Yola, Newman and Jimeta, as well as security officers. Chairman of the association, Andrew Drukwa, said the gesture is aimed at encouraging them to discharge their responsibilities with due recourse to safety precautions. So we look at them. We don't want the situation one day to hear that our snake has bitten one of our bite one of our staff. No, we have to make provision. I'm an engineer in profession, by profession, in the practice. So safety is paramount engineering. So we are providing these boots. Instead of a serpent to bite somebody, you have to crush it with this. I'm in the Legroom Power, 26 News.